Hey everyone, Matt Fontana here from Streamer. In this video, I'm going to talk about PubSub. And uh, it's important because uh, the end user of Streamer uh, sees Streamer as a global published subscribe service. So uh, let's talk about that. Uh, firstly, PubSub is just a network architecture. It's a clever network architecture that decouples publishers from subscribers. So this means a publisher uh, which can be anyone or anything, pushes a message, uh, and that is just a packet of data, which of course uh, as well can be any arbitrary data. They push it to some sort of uh, messaging infrastructure. Uh, typically today, this is Google, Amazon, whoever. And uh, subscribers uh, connect to this messaging infrastructure and say they want this kind of message and uh, this this sort of system works. Publisher uh, doesn't know subscriber, subscriber doesn't know publisher, but because of this middle middle piece, uh, it all works. It scales quite well, and uh, it's, it's a good solution. Uh, but there can be um, many different ways to do this. Uh, we think there can be big improvements to be made, both ideologically and uh, technically, uh, in terms of optimizations. And so this is the, the origins of the streamer network. So uh, streamer network is essentially a BitTorrent style decentralized mesh network pops up. And so what that means is that uh, streams basically exist as stream topologies. And those topologies are formed by publishers, subscribers, and uh, what's called broker nodes. Broker nodes are the uh, supporting nodes that are not particularly interested in the data, but they're actually there to, to help support the, the stream and they receive uh, data tokens as uh, for reward for their service. So I won't go into the tokenomics here, but the main takeaway is that these, these different types of nodes uh, share the responsibility of propagating messages to one another. So they share the responsibility of this, of uh, what was this uh, cloud messaging infrastructure. They actually uh, are the infrastructure in this, uh, in our network, in the streamer network. The publisher is a node in the stream topology. And so in the network explorer, we can actually see these uh, visual connections being made. So uh, a node has uh, a certain number of connections to their peers, and those connections facilitate uh, the propagation of messages to, to make, make this all work. So the streamer network can be thought of, so I plugged in a stream here, by the way, and it's showing 650 nodes in the stream topology. Uh, what's, what's important to, to sort of uh, um, understand from from a model perspective is that the streamer network is a constellation of independent stream topologies. And so there, there can be uh, thousands or millions of these different uh, independent stream topologies all focused on their own thing. I think that's uh, perhaps something that's um, not really understood quite yet by the, by the uh, People that are interested in Streamer, they think it's just one uh, global glob network. Uh, it's actually a constellation of independent stream topologies. And this is important to its uh, scalability. And so how do, how do people use it? Uh, well, um, this can be classic getting from A to B, uh, essentially one-to-one -one comms. Um, maybe an, an analogy here is quite useful, like a, a WhatsApp chat between person A and person B. Uh, person A and B are both publishers and subscribers and are uh, nodes in this uh, very small uh, stream topology, uh, essentially. Uh, the next is one-to-many, which you can think of like a um, live webcam streaming to many different subscribers. Streamer Network can do this, it can do this very well. And uh, lastly, it's probably my, it is uh, my favorite. Uh, it's the many-to-many. -many. 
um, multicast protocol that that is the, st the streamer protocol and it means that there can be many different uh, publishers all talking on the same stream to many different subscribers and this this pattern is uh, basically group chat uh, going back to the whatsapp analogy it is also video conferencing uh, can be metaverse uh, communications. So if you can imagine uh, your character on screen is uh, walking around its GPS coordinates uh, being published onto a stream, but uh, maybe you see other characters move move around and their coordinates are, are also being published to that same stream and you are subscribing to those uh, messages as well. So this is many to many. Uh, it's also data unions as well. So if you don't know data unions, they're a way for uh, a huge number of uh, data producers all producing the same shape of data to create uh, a certain amount of data density through uh, some sort of uh, stream, which is like a fire hose stream. And then anybody and uh, any number of people can subscribe to that data and uh, essentially uh, kind of forms this many-to-many -many, um, kind of power relationship, I guess. And so, yeah, that is uh, all I have for you uh, in this uh, technical session. In the next session, I would love to uh, dive deeper into this uh, publisher node, uh, subscribers and broker relationship, um, the different and how uh, the data tokenomics uh, fits in and essentially makes sure that uh, the whole network architecture works. Okay, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.